Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday and we are getting ready to decorate for Christmas today. We're gonna go get our Christmas tree and then come back and decorate everything up. So I'm super excited. Yeah. And I don't know how excited Andrew is. He's not very festive, but we'll make him festive. I mean, it's okay. I don't mind it, but <laughs> I don't really like, it's not super fun for me to decorate, I guess. But I'll help. I don't mind it. It looks nice once it's all done. <laughs> it does. It just makes it so much more cheerful. Yeah. The um, holiday spirit. Yeah. Um, we're going to go try to put up porch lights because we have mm. a porch this year. So we got some lights. We don't know if they're going to cover the whole thing, but we're going to go check it out. Yeah. Hopefully it goes okay. <laughs> oh, we're going to measure the perimeter of the porch because we bought, I think it's like 66 foot of lights. So then we can know for sure, and then we can go buy more if we need to. So yeah. let's do it. Let's go do it. I was putting in a nail to hang them on, and I missed, and I hit one of the bulbs. And it no, broke. you didn't just hit the bulb. Well, I hit, I hit the part that the bulb goes into, so it smashed the green thing apart. So, like, eight foot of the, the lights doesn't, don't work. But I might be able to use electrical tape to tape it back together so that... Like it, it reconnects, so like they they're working. Like I can push them together and it works. I just need to get electrical tape and like tape it together. But it was quite disheartening when this happened. Oh, it's okay. Well, it was just upsetting. I know. It was a second but nail I put in. We're gonna fix it and it's gonna be fine. And then we'll have pretty lights and it'll be okay. All right, let's go do it. but then she might try to climb to get to the... Exactly. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Maybe she'll be an angel and she won't do anything. Of course she's an angel.
survived getting our tree. It's on the roof. Buddy, come on. see that it's on the roof of our car and now we're heading over to my parents house to help them get their tree into their house and in the tree stand yeah and they bought a ginormous one it's heavy they bought a huge one it's like nine feet tall and it's super fat and I'm really cold because we were there for quite a while and we're both starving because we haven't eaten anything yet and it's one o'clock in the afternoon Jeez. so yeah have something to eat at my parents too probably but yeah we have a busy day we also we have to go um shopping get some stuff done and then we're gonna go home and decorate and finish putting up the lights so got a lot ahead of us today <laughs> we might not get to the lights actually that might be tomorrow yeah i don't know we're gonna have to see how things play out because it's already one o'clock by the time we get there and help them get that done it's gonna be and two o'clock so Tough. Yeah. Do what we can. Getting the rope off now. It's coming oh. down. I know, it started snowing. It's a Christmas miracle. We gotta get the rope off and then we're gonna pull the tree off. We're gonna take the tree inside to its new home until it dies. We're having a bit of a challenge with our tree because the trunk is shaped like it's like curved, almost like an S curve. And so it doesn't fit in the clamps right. Let me show you. And so the tree is tilted in there. Yeah, and the problem is these clamp style things, like they move. Yeah. Like they don't just stay in one spot. I think we chose a bad tree stand. Yeah, this is not ideal. Moment of truth. I'm gonna cut the strings, see what happens. Oh, maybe we should pull it away from the wall a little. <laughs> Just make sure it don't tip over. Oh, there's like a bunch of snow in there. Half of our lights are up and they look so pretty. Andrew's trying to fix that one that he messed up. He's gonna try to electrical tape it over here Hopefully. on the border. Now that it's covered in snow. <laughs> Should have did this earlier. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> tree 
is so sharp. I'm gonna use my gloves to put the lights on the tree because that is extremely painful. is sharp tree this is very this is like the sharpest tree i've ever experienced it is very painful and it's really hard with gloves to put on the decorations <laughs> i'm trying i think i hit the bald spot too good job yeah there was a bit of a bald spot on the front of the tree here and uh on the camera it just looks like everything's glowing it's crazy oh. um but yeah the tree's looking nice and Sarah's doing this. Um, I am not helping her decorate the tree. Not because I'm just a jerk or anything, but because I am actually allergic to pine trees. And when they poke me and stuff, like I get ridiculously itchy and it takes a really long time for it to stop being itchy. So I don't really like to mess around with the trees. It's not too bad like bringing it in, setting it up, but like I don't like putting, yeah, when I'm wearing gloves and everything, um, but I don't like putting decorations on the tree because I always end up getting all kinds of point and ridiculously itchy and then I can't use my hands for the rest of the evening because they're so itchy. Look at this one. Oh. Sarah really likes her s'mores ornaments. <laughs> she has a whole bunch of those. But yeah, so that's what we're up to right now. Uh, Sarah's going to finish decorating the tree and then we'll probably just hang out and relax. Sarah might do some more decorating around the house. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to have a nice relaxing evening, have some dinner, maybe watch a movie or something, and yeah, call it a good one. Watch a movie with mom and daddy? Go watch Elf Hills. So I mean this one.